You too. Kick. Let's do it. Um, I was watching a video earlier today, and I was thinking about something. Uh, somebody had mentioned that hookup culture is actually starting to die because this doesn't benefit women in any way. It actually makes their lives worse. And which begs the question for me, hey DJ, can you turn the music down a little bit? Hey, appreciate you. Um, I I'm gonna have to think. I I think I'm starting to agree. Now, do I when I when I do I think marriages are going up or anything? No, I think more people are still shacking up. I don't think it's gonna be a while. For that makes a difference because people are scared to be alone. Um, but even I was. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is hookup culture dying out? The hope is the hope is yes. The hope is yes. And I think as much as I hate those fresh and fit podcasts, the whatever podcast, pearly things, I don't like those podcasts because of what they are trying to promote, but at the same time they have their place and they do have good stuff to say. I can't hate them for that. They're getting a they're reaching a way bigger audience than I could ever reach. Um, not to say that I would be giving giving anything good, but I'm talking about just people like me who kind of think like I do. Um and so it's out there and i think that the more we expose hookup culture for what it is and you know what the people who are in the hookup culture are the ones who are leading the charge um they're getting out here and they're you know giving their bodies away and they're just saying hey forget it forgot it going to clubs and they're starting to realize wait a minute i'm spending my whole 20 from what 20 to 28 just goofing around pretty much having sex with anybody and everybody i can find getting boyfriends and having sex with them, breaking up, having boyfriends, having sex with them, breaking up, having boyfriends, having sex with them, breaking up. Um, even to the point where even in dating advice sucks. Um, because of hookup culture, dating advice is useless. Because all the people you get dating advice from most of the time are from people who've never been married or go through relationships probably once every couple years. It's like, I don't really need dating advice from somebody who hasn't got to the end goal. Um, and I heard somebody say on YouTube the other day that if somebody is married, they can't give dating advice because they haven't been in the dating scene. I disagree. First of all, if you just got married a couple years ago, it's not like you've been out of the dating scene forever. And we're not stupid either. Um, uh, just because we're not dating currently, like I'm not currently looking for a girlfriend, doesn't mean I don't know what the dating scene is like. All I have to do is go talk to somebody who's not married. It's not that hard. I could just simply look and observe my friends. I don't have many here, but back to where I was when I was living, back in my old town, I, all I do is look around, observe, look, talk. I talk to women all the time. I talk to men, and I look at the dating scene and I ask these questions. You gotta be like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because think about it. Even if I was on the dating scene again, what am I gonna be talking to fifteen thousand girls? What? How many girls am I really gonna be able to logically talk to at the same time? Maybe what three, four? at the most so of course i would so you're just trying to say to me i'm only four girls away from knowing what the dating scene is like it's not that hard and i disagree that people who are married don't know the dating scene as much anymore um now if you've been married 20 years of course then maybe you're out you're out of sync um but if you're a younger couple you still know what the dating scene is like but obviously if you're in your 50s and you've been married for 30 years okay obviously you don't know what the dating scene is like you haven't been out there and you may not be in that. But at the same time, I feel like if you don't want to be in the dating scene, it's because you're like choosing not to, if that makes sense. Like I could choose to just go out and talk to people and see what the dating life is like. All I have to do is watch a couple videos. How else do other people find out about the dating scene? It's the same thing. Um, it's the same thing. Like I know how to be rejected. I know how to get on Tinder and be like, hey, baby, you, hey, you want to go out there? It's not that hard. All you have to do is go listen to some story times. All you have to do is go get on TikTok. All you have to do is get on YouTube. You'll find out what the dating scene is like very easily. And just talk to people, interview people. They're going to tell you the truth they, because most people don't know, don't care. Or most people who meet YouTubers, they may know of them, but they don't care that deeply. Like their life goes on. They're not going to be like, man, whatever I say. Oh, okay. I was hearing something in the background. Um, so it, I don't know. That's just how I feel about that. Now, back to the hookup culture. Is it ending? Uh, we've already answered that pretty much. That's what we just went over this whole time. I, I want to say another thing about the hookup culture. It's very dangerous. 
Because what we are seeing even more so, oh man, hooker culture is making a bunch of people go out with random strangers they would never know. And they put themselves in bad situations. I've heard a lot of stories of women who just hook up with men. They don't know because they're cute. Listen, I'm, I'm not against women going after men who are beautiful. I'm not against women who go against men who are cute or tall or exactly what they're looking for. My problem with women just going after anyone and everyone is is if you just go after a guy because he's cute and he's got a big dick you're you're in trouble because <laughs> a lot first of all a lot of women are going to want that and next is just like what like what is the absolute purpose to go get your black to go get your back blown out and to go hack sex with somebody and just to say that the sex was good it just seems kind of ridiculous right you're always giving yourself away to somebody and getting nothing in return. You're literally giving sex away and all you get back from it is a story to tell your girlfriends, right? And I think that's why hookup culture is starting to die because I think more women are looking at it and going, Ugh. I mean, am I really about to go have sex with this guy just so he can go brag to his friends that he had sex with me? And I can go tell my girl that had sex with this pretty good dude that I didn't get and he didn't take me out, he didn't do anything. And even if that's the case, let's say a woman is having hookup culture, but the guy buys her dinner or buys her clothes and she's getting all these extravagant things, right? Even then, you're just being pop, you're just being bought then like a prostitute. He gives you a few fancy toys and you give up the cooch. Like that's not any better. And then there's hookup culture um, where you're just going through a bunch of guys. You're dating a guy like every year. And you think that's meaning something like it's really building up your experience with men it's not you know the more people you date the less experience you become or the less the, f the further away you get away from marriage it's not like if you date 30 people you have a better chance all you're doing is learning a cycle you're learning how to get with somebody and leave somebody get with somebody leave somebody get with somebody leave somebody and guess what's going to happen when you finally get to marriage one day if it happens you're going to get with that person leave that person <laughs> The more people you date, your chances of successful marriage don't go up. Once you start building a pattern, it's hard to break that pattern. And I've seen it. I've seen it all the time. So, so what people think that helps doesn't really help. Going out there and dating a bunch of people is not going to help you towards marriage. Going out and having sex with a bunch of people is not going to help you towards marriage. It's not going to make you a better person. It's not going to fulfill your life. It's just going to make your life just a mess. And you're just going to be a person out there who eventually is going to turn around when they're 27, 28 and realize you've been with 10 guys, 13 guys, 14 guys, maybe not have sex with all of them. But let's just say you had sex with five guys, you dated five guys, and now here you are 28 with nothing. You just wasted all that time for what? Just to go explore yourself? It's ridiculous, right? And I'm not even talking just to 20 year olds because 30 year olds do it. And, and then you get people in their 40s and 50s who decide they want to date around and be a cougar and be a MILF. It's stupid, right? I'm not calling them stupid. I'm saying the, the you know that's not going to work, yet you still go out there and do it. Nothing in history has told us that being a promiscuous woman is going to make you more happy. And the same thing for men. Men, as much as men know that what really needs to happen at the end of the day, you need to settle down and have a family. Like going out there and having sex with a bunch of women isn't going to make your life better. <coughs> You may seem cool to your childish friends, but you're not going to seem cool to men who are achieving stuff and getting making a family and still being able to do things. They're Not only they have a family to build, they have something that's going to be there after them. They have sons and daughters to teach, and you're just sitting around, goofing around, having sex with a bunch of girls. Like, that doesn't make you more manly to me. Like, it makes you less masculine because you're literally just giving up your... You're really just wasting your time. And then give, you're really spending all your time getting coochie. Now, there's obviously the men who have money. There's not a whole lot. Well, but let's talk about the small percentage of men who have uh, make $150,000 a year. Let's talk about the small percentage. Even then, you're making $150,000 a year. That is the perfect time to start a family. Why make that much money to just use it to impress women to have sex with them? Like, you, you should be using that money to... What's the point of money if you're just going to use it to get coochie? What's the point of money you're just spending on just a bunch of toys to impress girls? Like, you know what I mean? You shouldn't be going out there to try to still have sex with many women as you can because now you're rich and now you got money. No, you should be now using that money to start a family. Get things going, get things moving. 
you don't want to make all that money just to impress women. You do all that money, yeah, you're going to bring in more women and now you maybe have more options. But that shouldn't be the goal is to use those options to only have sex with them and then go get on a podcast and talk about how much of a high value alpha dog you are. It's so dumb. And what ends up so funny is when you get these alpha dogs and these guys who have a lot of money and they get on these TV shows, I mean, TV shows and these podcasts and they talk about um, and it, it, a lot of them actually that I've seen aren't like that vocal. They're not like, oh, yeah, girl, I can't wait till you go home with me. That's only the ones who got fake money. But the ones who have real money, they're not like that serious about it. They talk about it, but they don't really like push this agenda of, man, I'm a high value man. So I get women to do this, that, this and that. They know what they want and they're not about to explain themselves. They're not about to have an argument. They're not about to. So now I actually kind of maybe take back a little bit what I just said. I, I don't think that there's a whole lot of men who are making money to get coochie. Once you start making that kind of money, you don't, you're not going to have to feel like you have to explain yourself, right? You're not going to get to that point where it's like, well, uh, well, I'm not going to cook and clean the dishes. Okay, cool. Move on. If a dude has a bunch of options, he's definitely not going to argue and be like, oh, no, you better do the dishes. Or be no. Okay, cool. If that's not what you want to do. I, I mean, there's, I have a plethora of options just by being a man who makes money. So, I don't know. I, I just think hookup culture is going to eventually die out because it's so dumb. And like I said, more people are starting to see it. Even the young people are starting to be like, ugh, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> Even when I was younger, hookup culture wasn't a big thing. Like, we had some girls who would get with, like, one guy, break up with him, maybe have one other boyfriend and graduate high school and go to college and marry whoever they meet first. <clears throat> I met a lot of girls in college who married the guy they met in college. They were not out here trying to have sex with as many guys as they could find. There was few girls that I met like that, but those were normally the girls on the sports teams. And they kind of got pressured into it because everybody else is doing it. But I rarely met any women in college that are like, oh, I'm just going to go sleep around. And it's not as common as you think. As, as big as hookup culture is, it's more it's more of a certain city. Like, it's a Miami, L.A., um, San Diego, the, the bigger places, the bigger cities that are going to be doing that. And even then, it's not like a, every girl you meet is going to want to have sex. I grew up in a big state and... <laughs> I did not come a lot. I did not come across a lot of women who took up hookup culture. Like I worked at a job, I think was seventy percent women, thirty percent men, and most of the women had boyfriends or were married. A lot of them weren't sleeping around. There was maybe two or three, or maybe two or three out of the 300, 400 women that worked there that were like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go have sex with everybody I see." No, it was very few of them. So. Uh, I do think hook hook culture is dying. The internet may be keeping it alive, but out here on the street streets, no, that's all a facade. Nobody's really wanting to sleep with everybody they see. It is more, especially, I don't know where maybe where you live, but where I live, being single is looked down upon. It's not like, oh, you're single and sleeping with everybody? People are like, ew, where I'm from. Like, you're sleeping around and having babies? What's wrong with you? You know? And the two women that I know, you know, aren't they? You know, they're not waiting till marriage to do those things. But uh, their relationships only ended because one of them went to jail. The father went to jail and never heard of again. And the other woman, the guy left her. Uh, so it's not like these women chose their life. Your man goes to jail for the rest of his days and then doesn't want anything to do with you when he gets out. I mean, what are you to do? And then the other woman, like I said, she got left. So. Even the women out, and I only oh, one woman, she was abused. Oh, for as far as we know, she was abused. I mean, I don't know that for a fact. Um, I would have to meet the guy, talk to him, and get his side of the story. I'm not that kind of guy who just, if a girl says she was abused, that I believe it. Um, I know there's always two sides to every story. I've been in that situation where I was told I was, I was never abusive, but I was told that I was the problem. And then to find out that same woman who left me got married and had the same exact problems and got divorced. So I know it wasn't it wasn't me. Do we have our problems? Yes, but I'm not gonna. If people were to talk to her about me, they she'd probably say I was a horrible person. I, and I wouldn't. I got somebody tried to persuade me that that was true, and I believed it. But as I got older, I was like, no, nah, man, it was just a normal relationship. And she let somebody get in her ear. That's all that happened. My point is, I do think of hookup culture is dying and the internet is helping it the internet is the one that birthed it because the internet is fake but 
for the most part. But we're out here in the real streets. Hookup culture, not a thing. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Peace.